The most notorious is the prison camp at Bella Yella. Bella Yella is a sort of African devil's island, surrounded by jungle, and three days' walk from the nearest road. Some of the inmates are hardened criminals. Some are called security risks, and some are classified as troublemakers sent here by direct order of the president. The food allowance per prisoner is less than a nickel a day. NBC News' Robert Rogers was the first reporter ever to visit Bella Yella. Yes, as I say. What did you come here for? Well, uh, as, as they say, I came, they charged me for security risks. Put me in jail and sent me up here for security risks. Did they tell you what security risk means? Well, no. How long have you been here? I've been here since 65. <laughs> what was your offense? I was I mean, arrested for vagrancy. Vagrancy? Yes, sir. Now, what does that mean? You... Walking late hour in the night. How long have you been here? Since 1965, I got to tell you. You've been here since 1965 on a vagrancy charge? Yes, sir. I am sent here directly by the president. And when one is sent directly by the president, the con has to be quite strict because uh, he doesn't want to lose his job and he doesn't want to get where I am. So he has to be quite strict himself. You ever think about trying to escape from here? No, I have never. Of course, I believe, frankly, I think I can escape any jail in Liberia, except you just put me in a place and put a chain on my neck and kill me. But uh, as the Bible says that uh, when the leader, I think you find this in Ecclesiastes or somewhere, if I'm not mistaken, I just cannot quote the book perfectly now. But it says that uh, if you have difficulties with your leader, you must not escape, because that in itself, uh, shows some sort of uh, disobedience or, in, uh, or some sort of uh, envy against your leader's dissatisfaction. So uh, I am contented with whatever punishment my leader, the president, feels that I should bear. But one thing I am citing off, I am a loyal and patriotic citizen, and I shall remain this way until death. President Tubman frequently boasts of the peace and stability of Liberia but he is not above using the threat of subversion to justify increasing his own powers. There has been no real trouble for years. But last October, he had himself granted emergency powers, including the right to suspend the writ of habeas corpus. 